There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much, just he's some slick little greasy-haired European who's clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, he's gonna have a lot of protection. Ain't no one gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm him. Trust me. This the place? <clears throat> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. You looking for a problem? I got this. Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Chi sono sti buffoni? Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So... You walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Diodoro. <laughs> That's the embarrassed woman here. Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur, uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 uh. So, uh... Can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> but uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? No, of course I know you would not want that, huh? Uh, no. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in the cemetery. Oh, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they're on the mild. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> 
Salute. Salute. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... He's okay. He'll be fine. I figure... The Braithwaites were going to hold Jack Ransom. For all the money we cost him. Must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But... Bronte knows by now there's no Braithwaites left to pay him. Jack ain't much used to him anymore. Let's just get this done. Let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Okay. I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch your horses up ahead. This way. All right. Let's see what's going on in here. I want to check over here. And keep it down. Don't want them to bolt on us. Someone's here somewhere. Come on. When my time comes, Arthur, make sure they put me deep in the ground. With pleasure. This place gives me the chills. I'm gonna push your head. You watch my back. <laughs> Stop. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I had a bit to drink. Your friend died. They can hear us, you know. They're still with us. You should get yourself home. Mm. I think I see some. Shh, hold up. I think I heard something. What? Either the dead are waking up, or somebody's trying to wake them. Okay. Come on. See anything? Here's something in there. Get in cover, and we'll bust the door in. You boys found my pappy watching! Arthur. Pass 
bastards are trying to draw us out. Can't see worth a damn. We sure picked the right night for it. Reckon this is gonna wake a few people up. No doubt. first shot at us from <sighs> robbing grave robbers we've hit the big time we can't go back to Ronde with nothing to show for it Arthur there might be something in here <laughs> got it good now let's get out of here it's the law. Let's go. Maybe we're locked. Let's just track back to where we came in. Damn it. Come on. Let's go around the side. Just get back there, collect our side of the deal. You all right? He best not be playing games with us. He almost certainly is. Well, let's hey. just see. Keep your head. Act normal. How's he even gonna know we did what he asked? I got a feeling most things around here get back to him pretty fast. Like I said, we should see where we're at once we got Jack. All right. Let's get this done. <laughs> well, you took your time. Where's your host? Ah! Like I said, you <laughs> took your time. Ah! I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey. Friend, uh, thank Mr. Looking. Bronte you all for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur, 
Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and us, just simple country boys. There. Let's go! We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. I'm coming through. Yep. All uh. right, let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm... I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. And fantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I had the best time. But I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. You had a nice night then? Most enjoyable. Well, the man's an intolerable blowhard, but he stocks a fine bar. How did you fellers get on? Any problems? A whole heap of them. We about doubled the population of that graveyard. You know? I thought I heard gunshots, but the gramophone was playing. <sighs> Unbelievable. Each to their strengths, Arthur. I went in there with a gun and left with a party invitation. So, what'd you say this was? A garden party? A big gala at the mayor's house. I'm told every rich fool in Lemoyne will be there. Bronte? Oh! He'll be there, too. Seems to more or less run this city. At least, that's the way he sees it. Could open up some opportunities for us. It's been a chaotic few days. But we can finally move forward now. Hey, they're back! I think I see Jack! Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son! Everything! We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama! They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. <laughs> you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. Uh, <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Judge Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back. <laughs> Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? Ah, so. Well, we met Mr. Bronte. <laughs> he is, uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <laughs> Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back! <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. Sir, will you help the poor? You, kind sir. Will you help the poor? I ain't so kind. Yes, you are, sir. You have it in you, I can tell. I'm a nasty bit of work, father. You're wrong on two counts, sir. A humble brother, a penitent monk, not a priest, and you're a magnificent bit of work. You may have made some, some poor choices, but which of us hasn't? <laughs> you have no idea. But you do. 
And God does, and that's enough for me and for him. We shall see. That we shall, sir. But why don't you hedge your bets and give two bits to the poor? There are so many who will go hungry tonight. Sure. Bless you, sir. How you getting on, anyhow? These are a somewhat apathetic lot, I'm afraid. Mm. My, um, my mentor says that America is designed to induce apathy in people. It's a wonderful insight. He must be a wise man, your mentor. <laughs> well, sometimes he's a downright fool, but, well, usually he's the best man I know. That's wonderful. The, the thing is, I'm, well, poverty will always be with us. But slavery, I, I thought we had banished that. Like Saint-Denis is acting as a staging post for shipping slaves out to some of the islands. I don't believe you. It's 1899. Maybe you should take a look for yourself. I've heard that the pawnbroker down the block around the corner, the one with the green door, well, they say he sells more than forlorn trinkets. Help the poor. Hey, Hi there, mister. Uh, feel free to browse. Shall do. A bit of a strange question, but you heard tell of slavers around here, buddy? What? Oh, uh, nothing much back there, I I'm afraid. Just a, a few old books. Uh... Something don't seem right. Who's back uh, here? Uh, what are you Looks doing like back there? Pulls out or something. Pulls out? No, it's just an old bookcase. Uh, seen better days. I must say, you're acting very strange. Just uh, what is you want? Maybe you should leave now. I've had enough of this. You're crazy. I'm going to get help. No, no. This is a dream. Oh, hello? Shh, cállate, cállate. Hay alguien ahí? Por favor, ayúdanos. Help, please. Ayúdanos. Now, don't worry. I'm on your side. No, de aquí. Please, I'm on your side. It's going to be okay. Muchas gracias. Come with me. Don't worry. You're gonna be all right now. I promise. That's it. Come on. You'll be safe soon. Brother. Brother Dorkin's friend. Arthur. Arthur Morgan. Come on. You were right. I found these two imprisoned in that shop. Oh, my. That's... Well, they are blessed to have met you, Arthur. Trust me in that. They're very unusual. I don't think they speak much English. My brothers, come. Let's go get something to eat. Manger. Comida, please. Hey, you forgot this. Oh. Yes. Thank you. I... Uh... Here. Payment. For your services. I could not have freed these men myself. Give it to the poor, brother. Thank you. I will. Like I said, magnificent. Come on. Come, come, come. Come see me again sometime. I often work at the old church on Gasper Street in St. Francis. Hey, 
Buy me a drink, mon ami. Huh? Hello. Move next time. I am dying of thirst over here. Sure, what you want? Brandy. Two brandies, bud. It's two dollars a glass. Oh, better be good then. Mm. It's the best. Thank you. Santé. <clears throat> ah, it's quite a country you're building here, eh? Well, me personally? Hmm? I don't know. What do you do? Mostly, I just shoot people. Oh, how very American of you. I love it. What do you do? Oh, mostly I, I pose, I show off, I complain. Oh, how very French. I know. <laughs> I am ridiculous. <laughs> I have been all over the world. I have seen the sights, and I have discovered the one eternal truth that I am a pies, um, how do you say, all ass. Mm. Asshole. Mm, that too. That too. <laughs> mm. Well, at least you have some self-knowledge. <laughs> Where were you on your journey? Mm. All the civilized world. Painting my little pictures, meeting the locals, you know. You a painter? No. I'm a whole ass. I thought we had covered this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, mm. but you paint. Not according to salons at Paris. No. According to them, I cannot draw, I cannot paint, and I should go away. And so I went away. You miss Paris? Mmm, that smelly, filthy place with old buildings and ghosts and shit and French people. I have that right here. Hmm? I guess so. Mm. You know, uh... Arthur. Charles, you know Arthur? Don't believe in art. Mm. It's lies. Believe in women. They're the truth. Art is lies, but the vagina... That is truth. Breasts is truth. Art is for idiots. If you say so. Oh, trust me, I've tried both. One is better. Much better. <sighs> so, I uh, must be boring you. Uh, but, here. What is it? Uh, it's just a little doodle. Uh, you know, entirely worthless, unless you want to wipe your bottom with it. But I wanted to say thank you for the drinks. Well, that's very kind, Charles. Mm. No matter. Good meeting you. Mm. Come on out! You coward! We gonna talk about what you've done to my wife! You're a dead man! <laughs> so much for the new world! Hey! Who the devil are you? As far as you're concerned, I am the devil. Now get out of here! But this cat! I said get out of here! Get out of here. <laughs> I don't quite know why I did that. Because barbarity is boring, no? It kept me amused some years. You must go, my friend, before the gendarmerie arrive. Hey, you gonna do right by this fella's wife? You have done right by her. The little bird is free. Hmm. I am an artist, cowboy. I must do what I feel. Look, I have an exhibit at the gallery. You come, see what I mean. That's possible. It's a free show. What's this show then? Mr. Charles Chatternay. Go and see for yourself, but don't blame me. I think that it's Greek. Or could be Roman. It might just be from someone over in Blackwater. <laughs> Chardonnay, he's just a terror. It's making me blush. I find the brushwork baffling. What's he trying to represent aside from a filthy mess? It's a, you know. 
I'm sorry, I don't know. Let's just say, I can't say. Not in mixed company. <laughs> Always nice to see a smile. Look at these idiots. Excuse me, Mr. Chatonet. Couldn't you have painted some drawers on her? Madame, I paint her in her natural state, as she was and will be in paradise. There's nothing natural about that. Clothes are civilization, repression, death. To be naked is to be free, innocent, alive. Like Buddha said, you know, we are all just here to fuck. <gasps> Well, that explains the decadence of those Hottentots. Hey, you got a picture of my wife here, in her delicate. <gasps> Henry, oh. is that your behind? Oh, why would you be showing it to that man? That's my mama. <gasps> as nude as the day she was born. Stop looking at my husband's buttocks. Mm -hmm. Stop looking at my mama. Well, maybe <laughs> she shouldn't expose herself like that. This is disgusting. A nerve on you. That's it. Oh, oh, come on, Mildred. This is no place for us. Come here, hey. I'm a bitch. Oh, you God. filthy little man. Oh. <laughs> oh. Come on, horse. We're leaving. Hey, I'm coming after you, Frenchie. Hey. All right. <laughs> Waste of my time. That one's only in a hurry. No talent brush washer. Now I'm not sure. We provoke emotions, no? You keep provoking emotions like that, and all your canvases left punch holes through. I told you I was a whole ass. <laughs> you did, and you are. Now maybe go be an asshole somewhere else for a while. Ah, here we are. I know a lady over here. She may let me stay for a while. Good luck. That picture I gave you, it will be worth something someday. I can feel it. Perhaps. Right now, it seems like the only thing it'd get me is kicking the balls. Oh, you are funny, you know. I hope to see you again sometime. My angel, my little bird, it's me. 